Hello, hello, LCR. Well, it's an exciting weekend here at the church because Michelle, our new youth director, who came all the way from Oklahoma to do this work by God's call, is starting her programming this Sunday, 10 a.m. for Children's Chapel, Kids uh, Chapel, and some of our middle school kids that were helping run BBS and are part of our confirmation program, you're invited to come to and be volunteers to help lead the kids, and it's going to be a great process together. You'll actually get to see some different skills that Michelle has next Sunday the 24th because we have just one service and she and Adam will be providing the music as we give our musicians a day off and we'll be out in the courtyard again. Uh, we have folks making breakfast for you so you can come by at 9 30 and get some breakfast. 10 o'clock we'll have worship and it'll be a great time to be together and just to make some social bonds and connect with each other. The whole point social connection and being connected more closely in the Holy Spirit. I also wanted to highlight some of the missionary work that we're doing in Japan. You know, we have a group of folks who are going to be leaving uh, in October and going to Japan. In fact, one of the priests from St. Simon and Jude will be joining us along with another Catholic priest from Oregon. So that's sort of a new twist on this pilgrimage experience. And it's called a Kune Mission. You've heard of it a little bit. What we did is there used to be a church in San Diego that we supported when it was in its mission phase, meaning it was growing and they needed other churches to support it. Well, when I got here, that church was pretty well established, and we wondered what could we do with this money and redeploy it. So we didn't need to get new money, but we could redeploy money that was helping. And we said, oh, let's help build the church in Japan. So we take that money, and every month we put it into a restricted account and occasionally make a disbursement to Japan. And we are making a disbursement of almost all of 2023's uh, allotment. And there's so much cool stuff happening. Some of it is that earthquake relief that you heard about. Some of it is the cafeteria that's helping in Hiroshima for children of migrants and uh, older folks that need meals. There's so many cool stories about church work being done in Japan that's made possible because of your generosity through this church. And so when we think of all the different ways that we are making an impact, we can look at Michelle and the work she's gonna be doing with our kids. You can look at the folks getting ready to go to Japan and some of the folks that are ministered there through the church. And it's just a sign that God is richly, richly blessing us. And we are so grateful that you're part of this church. So we'll see you Sunday. And then actually our high school group will begin that evening at 5 p.m. So kids chapel at 10 in the morning, high school group at 5 p.m. And then um, look forward to more stuff happening with our um, Japan trip coming up. And finally, one service on the 24th, 9.30 breakfast, 10 a.m. service outside.